Good morning. This is Sunday at Sunrise, and I'm JB Bryan, the President and Chief Investment Officer at JB Bryan Financial Group, the home of Afroeconomics. And it is another Sunday morning. I have to say, I thank God for everything. I thank him for this opportunity to share with you. I thank him for all of you who have been signing in. It's just beautiful. You all are such a blessing. <laughs> Look to our first people to sign in, the youngs, they are on the ball. <laughs> I said, I'm good. Hey, when, when you are on time, you're late, right? When you're early, you're on time. No more of that garbage about CP time that doesn't exist in Afroeconomics world. We do everything on time. Yes, indeed. Where where look where good intention is not enough. <laughs> We're talking about iron sharpens iron this morning. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Ms. Sherman. I really appreciate you all. Give me a call if you have something that you appreciate, that you have iron in your life that you know is real. You know, iron sharpens iron. Our meditation right out of Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17, right? So I'm going to um, move forward on some things that I think that give us real 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 iron that's what it's all about you know real iron so let's let me just small and go to my notes to my documents <laughs> the five benefits i think of this as the five benefits of surrounding yourself with god god is to me the real deal the real steel when you say Iron sharpens iron. <laughs> he is it. So let's think about when you enhance yourself, build yourself up, you know, that having something that will if you want to make yourself better, you have to make yourself better with something that knows more than you know, something more powerful than you are something that can take the pressure of the world that you're facing constantly, something greater than your checkbook balance, something greater than your IRA, your 401k, something greater than that debt that you got in or the money that you owe the IRS or the huge school loan. What is greater? Definitely the ability to, of God to make us a better person, a stronger person. When we talk about developing a better mindset, the only way that you, we can develop a better, stronger mindset is to have faith that God will allow everything that you're pursuing to come true. People give up, don't pay their bills, don't pay back their school loan, leave their family because of lack of faith in themselves. Of course, is you going to have times where you doubt yourself and that's where our iron sharpens iron, our relationship with God really, really makes a difference. And of course, iron sharpens iron is important for us to have people around us who have that strong relationship with God and they know that their true support system is greater than all of the stuff in the world. You know, we say, oh, we got to network. You got to meet people. You got to get the right job. You know, you got to get the right connection. Uh, do you know someone such and their name dropping and everything telling you all of these keys to success those aren't the kind of people that you need to have whispering in your ear. You have to have people whispering in your ear about what is greater than you. That iron of all iron, that your relationship with God will allow you 
to get back on track, to continue to have faith, to continue to work, to continue to reach your goals, to continue to reach for higher, to continue to dream. How can we dream in a world that we know discriminates against us without knowing that what that discrimination is not as great as the God that we serve, the God that sets that example for us, the God that is our role model. Like, how can how how can we feel like we will actually succeed when we know that all of the odds are against you? The only way that you can succeed is by knowing that regardless of that odd, remember that faith of that mustard seed that we talked about one Sunday, that's God. That faith in God will move all of the discrimination, all of the set aside, all of the look over, all of the glass ceiling. They don't exist when you're focusing on God. <laughs> it's just like all of that stuff is like, whatever you can try everything you know you see people and they tried everything they could they had a drug addiction problem they had no mama they had no daddy they 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 grew up you know not knowing who their parents were they you know didn't get a chance to go to college they couldn't afford it they they couldn't afford to buy anything did they get to 55 years old, you know, and they still have faith and they still try to move forward and they're successful at it. And people go, I can't believe that they're making it. I can't believe that they just started a business. I can't believe that they just finished law school. I can't believe that they just became a doctor. I can't believe but God can believe it because they're not faith. They're not focus on the limitations of this world, they're focused on the unlimited ability of God that has to, from an Afro-economics perspective, we have to be motivated by our relationship with God. Steel sharpens steel, you know what I mean? Iron sharpens iron. It has to be that you, when you read the iron sharpens iron, it, ha it can't be, well, oh yeah, you know, because my friends, they got more degrees than I do. <laughs> That's not iron sharpens iron. I know that God, the word is speaking about something greater than that. Greater than that. Because you get a degree won't stop you from folding when the pressure hits, when it gets hot. You know what I'm saying? It, the degree will not do that. It's not going to hold up. God will hold up. Yes. So some benefits of surrounding yourself with God, allowing that iron to sharpen you. Iron teaches us the character. God, God teaches us the characteristics of a successful person. God teaches us that a truly successful person has character, is honest, will persevere, will have uh, negative situations, may have everything that they have that 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 they own could be lost. That that God teaches us that the characteristics of a successful person go beyond what we watch on television of that's a successful person. God teaches us that a successful person is huge, may not even be popular. That a successful person, from God's point of view, is a wonderful, giving, generous, confident, you know, not a slave to this world, you know, smothered in debt, mad at everybody. God teaches us that the characteristics of a successful person are a beautiful person that completely and that we're all a work in progress and that he's constantly forgiving us as we continue to develop as a more godly person that believes in the ability of God to help us do his live his purpose for us God teaches us that's our that's our iron sharpens iron. God teaches us the characteristics of a successful person. God teaches us the, to overcome obstacles. That's iron sharpens iron. That, that even though 
he has big plans for you, he teaches us that that doesn't mean that you're not going to have obstacles. He's not going to, he's a, he teaches us that that doesn't mean that things, you know, that's why you can read the word and you can see like, whoa, wow, that was a good dude. Now he, he lost everything. It's in the Bible. Goodness gracious. Why would that happen? You know, that, he, that, that this, you know, these, these things that happen in the Bible to good people, we're supposed to refer to that in times where we feel that like giving up that we realize that no, iron sharpens iron. God is sharpening me. He's enhancing me. God is my master mentor. We're going out there looking for mentors. You know, that's why I started the Afroeconomics membership and the entrepreneurship membership specifically because I felt that it was important for me to have a mentor as I started my business. But most importantly, I've been in business since 1995 because, because God is my mentor to this day. That's who I call on because he's taught me that these are the key characteristics of a successful person. That he taught me, that I think someone is trying to call in, <laughs> that God taught me that, that uh, God taught me that we, I can overcome the obstacles that will come along the way. You can't be in business almost 25 years now without facing obstacles, but you cannot stay in business and keep your sound mind and stay focused on your purpose, with, and from my point of view, without having real iron sharp and iron relationship with God. Thank you for your comments. Make sure that you call me if you want to um, share anything about your relationship with God at 1-833-AFRO. Greetings to you. Thank you so much. Now I have some more points about allowing God to be my iron, allowing God to be your mentor in life. God inspires you. He's the greatest. Like, he will inspire you like you'll feel like, oh, everything is over, you know, and the next day you'll wake up and you'll have the best idea. The book and the concept of Afroeconomics is definitely an inspiration of God. And that's why I had to do the fifth principle of integrity and Gianyame that that knowing that God is the only way, that that is the only reason, and that is the only Wait, the only reason that is here, that he instructed me, and I had to make sure that I included God in what helps you build a successful financial life. It's kind of, you know, easy for you when you're on top of your game, you know, just say, oh, you know, you see it at the awards things all the time, you know, I just want to thank God and, you know, this and this. But you know what? We have to thank God when we're not holding the microphone. We have to thank him when nobody is noticing us. You know, we're just over here. I'm just over here. Little Afroeconomics. You know, I don't have to acknowledge God, but I know that it's important for me to make sure that my mentor gets a great thank you from me. Iron sharpens iron. God is my iron. God can inspire you. Allow him to be your iron. You won't be disappointed by God. Friends, you know, you can go out there and say, I ain't sharp as iron. I got the best friends in the world. You know, that's what God said. You know, well, we're missing the point, I think. He's saying, you know, be conscious of who the iron is. Be conscious that, you know, I ain't sharp as iron. That means you got to be strong too. You got to be willing to take the pressure. Don't fold. God allows you to learn from your mistakes. God never gives up on you. He's never given up on me. I am better than the best mistake that I, the best, I'm, <laughs> look, the best mistake. I'm better than the biggest mistake. I'm bigger than the biggest mistake I've ever made. I'm better than the biggest mistake I'll ever make. 
and he knows that God never gives up on you. He never gave up on me. When I wasn't dreaming, he was still dreaming for me. We were talking about that yesterday in the Afro-Economics Business Summit, a room full of dreamers, grown folk, still got stuff to give back because iron sharpens iron. And what made it possible? God, because he never wants us to stop. I want to die trying to live God's purpose for me. I want to die still feeling the flame, still feeling the heat, still feeling the pressure. I don't want to die folded in half. I want to die knowing that I'm still applying pressure to this world, that God is like, do it, do it, do it. That's what we want. That's what he wants from us. You don't see these little things in the Bible about, oh, oh, um, they stopped um, working in the farm and now they just sit there and they watch TV and that's it. And then they died 30 years later. No, do not buy in to this. I'm working and I hate my job just because I want to retire. That's not an iron sharpens iron attitude. God has bigger plans for you. You need to, if you don't need money, go out there and help somebody. There's classrooms that need you to be in there helping a kid learn how to read. You can read, teach somebody how to read. We cannot give up on ourselves because God never gives up on you. Stop it. Stop the nonsense. It ain't over. Finally, God allows us to become the best version of ourselves. So stop making excuses about you did whatever, and because of that, you're not going to become the best version of you. Crazy excuse, but it happens all the time. Well, I didn't save enough, so I'm just going to be broke. I have too much debt, so I'm just going to be miserable. What are you talking about? Whatever you think is significant isn't even significant. I have I've overcome unbelievable amounts of debt and to stand debt free. That's God. But when the pressure hit and the market sank and it was over and it's all on TV and everybody's going crazy and my phone is off the hook, I picked up the phone and I talked to my clients and I kept this together. I had to keep it together. God didn't put us here just for the good times. I got to be here for you regardless of what's going on in the world. I was pregnant when these airplanes flying to, not to, to the you know, World Trade Center changed everybody's life that was alive at that time. And I'm sitting there holding my baby in my stomach thinking, what world am I bringing her into? And God said, that's not for you to decide. If she gets here, it's because I say so. And you got work to do. And I immediately went to work and started organizing, said, everybody call me at 12 noon. We're going to talk about this. They had closed down the stock market and everything. I got black folk all up in the stock market telling them that they're where they're supposed to be. And this stuff, they closing it down. You got to, you can't fold. Iron sharpens iron. That means it will, you will feel the pressure, but it will make you better. You got to feel the pressure to get sharper, right? You got to feel, you got to be against something and it's got to be something stronger than you. You know, that's iron, it's got to be strong. It's got to be real. And I want to be the strongest version of me. So when my iron sharpens iron, I want my iron to be God. I want my iron to be God. I deserve that. You deserve that. He makes himself available for you but you got to be able to take the pressure. He is a, he's available. We just have to do it. Iron sharpens iron, everybody. Proverbs 27, verse 17. Think on that. <laughs> Think on that. Be all that you can be. It's not over for us. It's just the beginning, but you got to take the pressure. Be all. Be all that you can be. Sending some love out to all my veterans. 
Thank you for all that you do and you have done for us. Thank you. Thank you. Giving honor to our veterans. And God bless you. God bless the veterans. God bless all of you watching. Enjoy your day and make the world the best that it can be by taking the pressure. Taking the pressure. Apply more. Blessings. Talk to you all Wednesday night. It's Afro Economics Live. Wednesday night tomorrow, I'm on CBS 6 Virginia this morning. Don't forget, I have offices in New York, Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, where I will be tomorrow, as soon as I get off the air in Virginia. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all. And don't forget, members-only holiday party, December 15th.